Well, this should be common knowledge, but sometimes the things that you expect to be common knowledge really aren't. Uh, you just take it for granted that everybody knows and not everybody does. The one day I was watching somebody complaining. He couldn't find a tape measure that the end wasn't loose on. <laughs> you know, that bothered him. There's a purpose behind that. Uh, there are any decent tape measure is made that way. And so if you're measuring like an outside dimension, then it, it pulls out and goes to your zero. If you're measuring an inside dimension, it pushes in and goes to your zero. The travel on those holes should be equal to the thickness of the foot of the blade. But he was complaining. He wanted to tighten them rivets up. But that's why they're there. Uh, even this, this little 12 footer has got that, though this is a little sloppier than it should be. Uh, it travels about right, but it's a two rivet thing. It's, it's not that, this is a cheap tape. But you'll see it on the Stanleys. You'll, you'll always see that, that extra movement in there. Uh, the one difference is, uh, well, this is a really different tape in the first place. It's a 100 foot tape, but it isn't actually in inches, it's in feet and tenths of a foot. Now you look at that distance, you know, that's, that's more than an inch between them. Like say, from the end there to the five is six inches. And that's where these are used with a nail. So you drive a nail in, or a spike, all of some kind. But then it tells you feet, and then tenths of foot. I'm sure that drives some people crazy, but that's the way they were doing it. It's, it's easy enough once you know that that's what it does. But you're usually measuring, you know, fairly long distances. As long as I got a nail in, I'll show you too that any decent tape measure should have the little notch cut in the end that is made to go onto a nail for measuring. Now, this little Lufkin doesn't have that. But this is a different sort of a character. It's, it's you know, very fine markings on it. You know, it's 30 seconds. Rather than, and actually for most use, you know, even this is coarser than I need, or finer than I need. You know, if I get halves and quarters, I can fudge it from there. That's where I kind of like this, where she's, you know, big jumps that aren't actually even inches. It's kind of a metric system without being metric. But I was just going to mention it because I did see somebody that was confused about that. Any decent tape measure should have that. Though you will see a lot of them now that are being made that are you know, really crummy, cheap tape measures. Uh, you know, they probably aren't going to last long enough for it to matter, but that's what it's for. Uh, you know, between the two Stanleys, uh, the metal ones are nice, but... It isn't the really strongest metal in the world. You can break them. I have I have dropped one and broke it before. You know, bust a corner off it. Plastic ones are all right. I've got no complaints about them. Uh, the one thing I have to say: this is easier to hang on to and easier to find if you should drop it someplace. These little devils are slippery, and they will slide under the weeds. But it's a toss-up. I think these are a little more expensive. But really nothing wrong with these either. You know, I kind of like the, there's some that come with even more armor on them. And, and that's kind of nice in a way. You know, because... Well, the thing that usually kills these... Well, you measure something out and then cut it with an axe. I've done that before. It used to be you could just pull them all the way out. Hook a new tape. You could used to be able to buy the tape separately. I don't even know if you can anymore. But the tapes used to be pretty expensive. They've gotten to be so cheap that it doesn't really matter. 
You know, it's not that big a deal. I imagine they're being made in China. Who knows? Doesn't really say on there, but I'm just guessing. Probably said it on the packaging. But they aren't that all that expensive. But I thought I'd mention, you don't have to tighten that rivet up. Be happy that that rivet is loose. There's a purpose for it. <laughs>